Welcome to the Vertical Greens YouTube channel. In this video we are going to the Green Tech Fair in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. We are visiting the Green Tech Fair because it's filled with professionals within the horticulture industry. We have a lot of the LED suppliers, the irrigation, the plastics, the pots, the automation as well. So at the fair, there's a lot of different types of technology within the field. And if you are a professional in the sector of horticulture, then it's definitely worth a visit. So as you can see here, we had a lot of visitors. Uh, this is the booth that we made. We were on the fair with Paris, as you saw in probably some of the other videos we set up. So our booth was located next to the Siemens booth. We were going uh, there to showcase the strawberry setup systems that Paris has developed. At the fair, we were uh, on the stand with uh, both Dogtooth and with Hexafarms. So Dogtooth is an automation company that automatically harvests strawberries in greenhouses or in vertical farms. Hexafarms is an automation software that can see all the data points within how the growth is on the plant. So that means that you can see with artificial intelligence how the plants are growing in a different environments, using different irrigation tactics and using different lighting setups. So with Hexafarms you can really navigate how to improve your growing conditions automatically with the help of an AI. So this is, as you see, Michael here, he's standing next to the Dogtooth strawberry picker, um, explaining how the, the system works. Now we're going on a little trip around the, the fair, so you can see what different producers of different technologies are providing. And as you can see here, it's really, really focused on the business to business market. Um, the commercial market of horticulture is one of the biggest markets uh, and it's really interesting going to a fair like this at Green Tech in the Netherlands, the capital of horticulture of the world, to see the newest te technology trends and seeing how to improve our growing and seeing if we can partner up with some interesting partners. As you can see here, the strawberry system is the setup where we are growing all types of varieties of strawberries. We grow both the Japanese varieties, uh, the really sweet, unique flavored strawberries, but we also uh, grow the high yielding strawberries. As you can see here, Alex, he's going up the lift. This is the lift that's maintained in every production. So you can work in the height. As we explained, we like to maintain maximum nine layers of growth on, on top because we found that if we go above nine layers, then we are not able to maintain the correct climate both in the bottom of the facility and also in the top. So now we are at Siemens booth. They showcased this really cool setup doing uh, salads. And as you can see here, there's a lot of other guys doing salads, mushrooms, they're doing lighting, they're doing uh, different types of uh, irrigation. So we are gonna take a little walk on the fair and you can see the different types of uh, producers here.
we were staying at Sandworth, it's called, and we uh, went to the beach. At Sandworth, there's a beach bar where you can uh, go. It's 20 minutes from the center of Amsterdam and it's out near the beach. And it has a really nice lounge area and really good energy. So if you go to Amsterdam, I could definitely recommend going there. Great, so the second day on the fair, Yelma and I were waiting for the interested people to come to the booth. So while we didn't have anything to do, we went for a little walk to see the different types of technologies again. And the fair is, is very big. It's, uh, it was three halls, so th three very big halls where everything was set up. There was an, a vertical farming area, there was an irrigation area, an automation area and, and different types. So it was all set up so that the different technology providers within the same field were close to each other. And as you can see here, we have some water irrigation tanks on the right and we have some computers on the left that can control the irrigation. Then we can control the humidity and the airflow here. So yeah, basically, if you are ever interested in starting a vertical farm or growing something like this, then we could definitely recommend going there because you can discuss a lot of things with the different parties involved in having these booths and you can make a lot of cooperation with people and you can have some really nice business talks. We will go to the, to the sand ward and I will show you a little around the city at, at some point in the video as well. So if you never saw Amsterdam or ever been there, take a look and uh, you can see the city and you can explore some of it with me as we go along. Here we have the Stahl and Plast and the Dan Dutch and the Dan Vand booth. They are really good cooperative partners with us here in Denmark. They produce the irrigation systems, the FGM also helps with the automation, with the metal work, and the Danvan is doing all the irrigation with the computers and the tubes and the connectors and all of that, so we can automate our production. Definitely the idea about the microgreen production, as you saw in the other video, we are watering it by hand still, but we want to find a really good way to water it in the future. And we are considering doing an ebb and flow system, but we need to make sure that it works and that the product can be really, really good because if we can't get the right quality, we need to keep watering it by hand. Yes, as you can see here, we have some aquaponic technology towers with a, a small uh, setup with an aquarium. So you can have fish um, fertilizing your plants and then cleaning the water in the process the plants will clean the water and the fish will provide the plants with the nutrients that they need As you can see on the on the fair, there is a lot of different LED providers. LED technology for the fair is, is growing at a rapid pace. We went to the Green Tech Fair last year and we were there the year before as well. Last year we had maybe 10 companies, 5 to 10 companies doing vertical farming. And uh, this year there were at least 30 companies doing vertical farming. So you can see the vertical farming industry is rapidly uh, growing. Here we have uh, Brunsel that is uh, doing the metal work. We are cooperating with these guys to make a container with edible flowers, probably. So that's going to be an interesting project for the future as well. Definitely going to make a video with that. So if 
something like this has your interest, then uh, subscribe to the channel because we have a lot of different types of technology that we are showing how to grow microgreens, mushrooms, salads, herbs, strawberries. If this has caught your interest, then like the video and then we will produce even more content like this so you can sit at the comfort of your home and be at the Green Tech Fair so we can showcase this for you. Here we have an automated strawberry picker as well. There are different types. I think we saw five different companies providing technology for picking strawberries at the fair. Definitely also very interesting to see how that industry is going to move on in the future. The idea about automation is really good because you can maintain the stable quality and get the same quality every time without any human error. So that's a really interesting subject to dig into. I think it's going to grow a lot in the future, that industry, but they still have some struggles to overcome. But it seems that most of the challenges has been solved by now. So here we have a automated uh, salad packing machine that weighs the salad and packs it for you. Here we have the strawberry robot again. This is another strawberry picking robot that was at the fair. So this one has two arms. It can work on both sides. So you have double the amount of efficiency in that picker. Here we have a full setup. You have the airflow in the bottom and then you have the the lighting, the irrigation, and you can see it's it's growing on, it looks like cocoa core or rock wool. And yeah, there was just a lot of interesting machines for automation. So we could get a lot of inspiration how we could automate the facility that we, if we wanted to do it that way. The thing about automation is that it's really, really difficult because it's fairly expensive right now. And the return of investment that you have on this, the automation is is a bit too high for the greenhouses and the vertical farms right now because of the energy costs. So it's it's a it's a balance to make sure that it is possible to do long term. And that's really difficult doing it right now if you don't have the capital. Yeah, so these guys are growing the different types of herbs, flowers uh, in a vertical farm. This is uh, the Paris strawberry setup. And as you can see here, we had the video on the fair showing how the system is working and what is possible to produce with the system. Here you can see the strawberries are getting ripe and they are getting ready for picking. And you can see here the strawberries are getting picked. They are really delicious, firm berries that isn't too soft and the texture is really, really good. The flavor is also really intense and you can, you can really do differences in the flavor profile if you change the way that your climate is set up, the way that the light is set up, or how your nutrients is in the berry. Yeah, so Yamo, he's happy. He had a really good fair. I think Sandro on the left here, he's also very happy. He had a great fair too. We were having a lot of 
interesting conversations with people. And uh, Kim, he is also looking very satisfied. Michael, as you can see here on the right, he's also speaking. Now Yama and I, we're walking on the beach. And as you can see here in Sandvort, near the beach, it's an amazing area. We went to Sandro's uh, birthday party to celebrate and Yalma, he's happy, very happy you can see here. He's pumped up and, <laughs> and we are having a really, really great dinner. So after the, the celebration of Sandro and Philip, Philip were having the birthday as well as Sandro, we went back to the fair. So as you can see here, this is the last day we are on the fair. And uh, this is an automate, automation table that can take your tables and move them wherever you want to move them, either into the greenhouse or into the harvest area or the propagation area, whatever you need. Here you can see uh, Tees, he is from the Hexa Farms, as I explained earlier. Uh, Hexa Farms doing the artificial intelligence setup. After the fair we went and uh, had to take all the system down. So you can see here in the video how Yalma and Tees is taking the strawberry gutters apart and then placing them so we can transport everything back to Sandro's company. Now we took all the metalwork, took it apart, took the lights out, took the irrigation out and the, as you can see here, all the metal and the gutters are getting down. When everything was set, down, I went to the city of Amsterdam to explore the, the city center. So it was very busy at the center of Amsterdam. And as you can see here, we are at a hotel, one of the most uh, popular hotels in Amsterdam with an amazing view of the channels and the setup. It's an amazing city and the culture is really interesting. We had a really good trip and we hope that you enjoyed the video and we hope that you enjoyed and got some value from our days of the Green Tech Fair in the Amsterdam Center. If you like content like this, give the video a like and subscribe to our channel because we are very, very, very interested in vertical farming technologies and we are gonna post setups and videos like this in the near future so you can learn as much as possible and grow your own vertical farm and be prosper and be successful.